Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. God bless you for connecting wherever you are joining us from tonight. The Lord bless you richly in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you for connecting. God bless you. May the Almighty God erase you, touch you where you need to be touched in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm sorry we're a bit late to come online tonight because we have some technical uh, glitches. But I know my God will do for you what you cannot do for yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to just be in the mood of worship. I'm going to say, Lord, speak to me this evening. Lord, speak to me this evening. Let your word touch me. Let me enjoy your mighty hand. Let me have a divine touch. Let there be a turnaround in my life. Let there be a change in my destiny. Let there be a change in my home. Let my home know that I can tell your power. Father, touch to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Touch me. Turn me around. Do what I cannot do for me. Do it for me, O Lord. What my strength cannot give me tonight, Lord, give it to me. What my power cannot give me, Lord, deliver it to me. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, deliver to me what my strength, what my energy, what my home, what my father cannot give me. Lord, deliver that into my hand tonight. Lord, deliver that to my hand tonight. Begin to pray that God visit me in an unusual way. Visit me in an unusual way. In a way that I've not been visited before, Lord, visit me tonight. In a way that I've not been visited before, Father, visit me tonight. In a way that I've not encountered you before, tonight, let me have such an encounter. In a way that I've not seen you walk in my life before, tonight, Father, do that that's difficult in my life. Touch me, O Lord. Change my story. Change my life. Change my home. Touch my family. Touch my marriage. Touch my life. Change my life. Lord, I know you can do it. I know you have done it before. Father, tonight as I go into prayer, tonight as I go under your word, let there be change. Let there be a new thing. Let every affliction in my life begin to stop. Let affliction in my home begin to put come to an end. Let every affliction in the life of my children in my marriage come to an end. Affliction in my place of work, Lord, let them begin to come to an end. In the name of Jesus, Father, speak to me tonight. Touch my life tonight. Turn my life around. Do for me what I can do for myself. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' name, we pray. I want to begin to say, Lord, forgive me every sin that I've committed. Begin to pour your sin before him. Mention them one after the other. And begin to ask him, Father, I know I have sinned against you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Forgive me of every sin. Forgive me of every sin. Every area that I've sinned against you. Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. Lord, have mercy upon me. Every area of my life that I've sinned against you. Father, tonight I am asking you to forgive me. Lord, tonight take away every reproach of sins. Every power that the devil has possessed to make me sin. Father, let those power be destroyed tonight. Every power of sin in my life that held me in captive. Father, destroy them by the blood of Jesus tonight. Lord, sanctify my life. Lord, wash me. Lord, empower me under the atmosphere of your word tonight. Let your word touch my life. Let there be a change of destiny. Let your word transform my life. Let your word change my story. Let your word transform my home. Let your word transform my destiny. Let every affliction be put to an end in my life. Affliction will not rise again in my life. Affliction will not rise again in your life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Mighty Father, we thank you for this moment. Lord, we appreciate you for what we're about to do. We thank you for the life that under the sound of my voice, for how far you have helped them. We thank you for where you are taking them to. We thank you for where they are coming from. We thank you for your grace that singled them out. We thank you for the power from your word. We thank you for the healing from your word. We thank you for the turn around from your word. Change of story from your word. For as many that will be under the sound of this voice. Lord, let there be a divine turn around in their life. Let there be a divine turn around in their home. Let there be a divine turn around in their marriage. Let there be a change they have never witnessed before. Let there be an encounter that never witnessed before. Let such encounter come upon them tonight. In the name of Jesus, 
as where they might be, whenever they've been hearing me from far and near tonight. Lord, I sent your word to that home. I sent your word to that family. I sent your word to that bone. I sent your word to that intestine. Everything the devil has planted in that life, everything that the devil has planted in that home, everything that the devil has planted in that womb, in that intestine, in that eleven, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I pull them out of your line. I separate you from affliction. I separate you from sickness. I bound the hand of devil from your family. I bound the hand of devil from your marriage. I bound the hand of devil by your ministry. I bound the hand of devil by your finance. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you loose from the shackles of the devil. I set you loose from the shackles of Satan. In the name of Jesus Christ, affliction will not rise again in your life. Affliction will not rise again in your life. Affliction will not rise in your finance again. Affliction will never rise again in your home. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as I go into your word tonight, speak through me. Touch my tongue as we be going to prayer. Father, let every prayer be answered by you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, as many that will be coming tonight, listen to your word. And they are saying, Lord, touch me. Father, touch them. And they are saying, Lord, heal me. Father, heal them. And I say, Lord, transform me. Father, transform them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those who are believing God for a new job, Father, grant them a job that will make them worship you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those who are believing for a new level in their life, Father, take them to that level that they will be able to serve you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we appreciate you. Touch my tongue. Empower me to speak boldly in the name of Jesus. Thank you because of answer. For in Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. God bless you for joining us tonight. May the Lord bless you as you continue to join us in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever you are connected from, I know there is a miracle waiting for you. I know there is a testimony that we are about to share. And I know your home and your family will be part of that testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. What God has given to you that make you to be happy, what God has given to you that make your home celebrating, the devil will not take them away from you. In the name of Jesus, you have been rising, you will never fall. In the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. The glory of God will be visible in your family. The glory of God will be visible in your marriage. The glory of God will be visible in your body. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Tonight, I'm going to go briefly into the world and we are going to pray against every affliction. I pray for you. Affliction will not rise again in your life in the name of Jesus. In your family, we are putting an end to the affliction in the name of Jesus Christ. But we're going to be using the book of Nahum chapter 1 verse 9. Nahum chapter 1 verse 9. The Bible says, what do you imagine against the law? What do you imagine against the law? He will make an altar and affliction shall not rise up the second time. You see, what is that thing that you imagine against the Lord? You see, he will make an utter end to them all. What is that thing that your enemy is imagining against you? What is that thing that the enemy put in their mind? They think this is what will happen to you. Your enemy think this is how you will end your life. Your enemy think your marriage cannot stand. Your enemy think you will not live long. Your enemy think your children will not do well in life. Your enemy think there is no way you are going to make it out of that sick bed. Your enemy think that sickness will take your life. But the Bible says, what is that thing? What is that thing that you imagine against the Lord? What is that thing that you are imagining against the children of God? What is that thing that you are imagining against those that God have anointed? What is that thing? What is that your imagination against God? It means everything that the devil is imagining against you that is contrary to what God I've called it to be from the beginning. What well, that is contrary to what God I've called it to be from the beginning. The Bible says here, you see, God says, what is that thing that you are imagining? Your devil, your enemy is imagining failure to you. Your enemy is imagining you to stay in one place. Your enemy is imagining that you will not rise in life. Your enemy is imagining that the same way you come to abroad, the same way you go back home. Your enemy is imagining that you will die before your time. Your enemy is saying, oh, the sickness that cut their life short in your family, it will also call your own life short. Your enemy is saying, no one will never get to that level. You are
every imagination from the pit of hell against your life, against your finance, against your well-being, against your marriage, we put an utter end to them tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible is simply saying here, your enemy can imagine failure. You see, but I, the Lord, will not allow you to fail. You you see, your enemy can imagine sickness for your life. You see, but I, the law, will not allow their war to come to pass. You see, your enemy can imagine that you will die young. You see, but that is not my intention for you. Your enemy is imagining something against the law. And what is that thing that God has for you? You see, I'm going to take you to an expression here. What is that thing that God has for you? You see, with long life, with long life, will I satisfy you? What is that thing that God has for you? You see, I will prosper you. What is that thing that God has for you? You see, you shall you shall have dominion, you shall multiply, you shall fool the head. It means you will enjoy what he has called you to do. I pray for you tonight, in every area of your life, that you are suffering affliction, in every area of your life, that the devil has taken possession of your life, take possession of your, your life, take possession of your benefit, take possession of your glory, by the name that's above every other name. I agree with you in faith. We put that devil to shame. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you in faith, we scatter the plan of the devil concerning your life, concerning your home, concerning your marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says here, you see, what is that thing that you imagine against the law? You see, it will make an altar end. And when God says, I am putting an end, it means he's putting an end. And what is that thing that God wants to put an end to? He wants to put an end to your sorrow. What are the things that God is intended to put an end to? He want to put an end to early death in your life, in early death in your family. He want to put sickness to an end in your life. What are the things that God is intended? Say, oh, oh, this thing that what the devil want, but this is my intention for you. The devil is imagining something, and God is saying, no way for my children, it will not happen. God, the devil is saying, no, that mother, woman, you won't get your own wife, you won't get your own husband. And God is saying, no, my son must multiply. My soul must be fruitful. My son must have dominion over the head because this is part of his inheritance and no power can stop it. Whatever God has decreed from the beginning, every package of blessing from God that is meant for you, that is meant for your family, you will not miss it. In the name of Jesus Christ, your home will not miss it. Your marriage will not miss it. In the name of Jesus Christ, as you began to journey in the month of April, I see you rise as we began in this month, I see new things open for you. I see new door opening for you. Contrary to the will of the devil, I see new door. I see new opportunity. I see greatness in your life. In the name of Jesus, whatever you have not dared before, whatever you have not tried before, whatever you have not been able to handle before, this month of April, you shall handle them in good health. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord. Lord that open a door when there is no door. The Lord that open a way even in the Red Sea. That same God is still alive. That same God is still alive. You see, I will make a way for you. Even in the Red Sea, it will create a situation. It will create a way. It will create an helper. I pray for you, every one of you, looking for an helper. You are at the crossroad. Until someone come to your aid, you may die. I pray for you. Helper will show up. I say, God will send an helper to you in the name of Jesus Christ. God will send an helper to you in the name of Jesus Christ. You say, what is that thing that you imagine against the Lord? It means, what is that thing when go when you imagine it contrary to what God imagined? The Bible says it will not stand. He say we put an altar end to it. Somebody is rising and saying, no, this business must crumble. And God is saying, no, you are imagining that the business will crumble. You are imagining that he's going to die of sickness. You are just imagining that he will not move beyond his father. You are imagining that he will not grow beyond what they have been in the, their the, the city. But the Bible is saying here, you see, I, the Lord, I am just in that position to put an end to every imagination, to put an end to the intention of the devil, to put an end to do that stop you, to put an end to their intention, to their action, to their plan, to their ploy. You see, I'm going to put an altar end. And I pray for you tonight as we join into this morning of April, by the kingdom of the secret, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, that Lord will put an end to 
every power afflicting you. That Lord will put an end to every power afflicting your marriage. That Lord will put an end to every power afflicting your home. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said the affliction shall not rise again. I pray for you. Whatever you have lost in previous months, begin to regain them. Begin to recover. Recover them back. In the name of Jesus. He said affliction will not rise. Not again. Not again. Again, that people will die young with your family. Not again, will that sickness kill them, your family. Not again, will you lose over your business. Not again, will that situation take you down. Not again, he said the affliction shall not rise again. I pray for you. What killed them, your family? What killed them in your home? What killed them among your siblings? You will not be partaker of that death. In the name of Jesus Christ, every power that introduced sickness into your body by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I put an utter end to that sickness out of your body. In the name of Jesus Christ, that sickness, I command it out of your body. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command it out of your body. In the name of Jesus, I command it out of your body. In the name of Jesus Christ, you say affliction will not rise again. I told you, I can tell you, somebody's under the sound of my voice right now. Situation rises in your marriage. Situation is getting very hot. Heat up your marriage. The Lord said the affliction will not kill your marriage. By the name that's above every other name, receive the peace of God in your marriage. 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 Receive that peace above your imagination. The peace that God alone can give. Receive that peace in the name of Jesus. Receive that peace in the name of Jesus. Receive that peace in the name of Jesus. Oh, the doctor diagnosed your body and you are feeling that the growth is coming back. I pray that growth will not come back again. In the name of Jesus, I say we'll come back again. In the name of Jesus, that source of cancer by the name that's above every other name. He said he sent his word and his word healed them. He sent his word. His word delivered them. He sent his word. His word opened door for them. He sent his word. He put an altar hand to the affliction. I say the same word in the name of Jesus Christ. Every cancer root, in by the power in the name of Jesus, they dry to the root. They dry to the root. They dry to the root. In the name of Jesus Christ, they dry to the root. In the name of Jesus, whatever sickness in your body, by the name that's above every day, I put an other end to it now. I put an utter end to it tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, doors are open for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, what is that thing that your enemy imagined against your business? What is that thing that your enemy imagined against your marriage? What is that thing they imagine against your children? What is that thing they imagine against your life? By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, your story is changing. Your story is changing. Your story is changing. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are coming from the hidden place. You are coming to the limelight where God will glorify himself in you. Where God will glorify Himself in you, He will glorify Himself in your body. In the name of Jesus Christ, the glory of God will not leave you. In the name of Jesus Christ, they haven't seen anything yet because God will lift you high. They haven't seen anything yet because God will liberate you. We haven't seen anything yet because God will perfect His healing. They haven't seen anything yet. You have just started their cry, and God said, I am going to increase your life, I am going to double your blessing, I am going to make you, I am going to change your story. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for that sister that God is changing her level right now. God is changing her level right now. Your level is rising. Your level is changing. In the name of Jesus, your level is changing. In the name of Jesus, affliction will not rise again. The Lord said to that woman, that baby in your womb will come alive. Oh, you say, oh, I'm pastor, I have been giving birth to a baby. Still baby. You always give birth to a still baby. Anytime you carry the nine months, it come down dead. But the Bible says, God says tonight, that God is visiting you. That that baby in your womb, you will not you will not be, come, that baby will not come down, come out dead. In the name of Jesus, the baby will come out alive. The baby will come out alive. In the name of Jesus, I soak your body in the blood of Jesus. I soak that baby in your womb in the blood of Jesus. I soak your pregnancy in the blood of Jesus. The day you will put to bed, everybody will celebrate with you. You will not mourn again. You have been mourning over seven children. You have given back to seven still bed, dying. You will give back to seven still bed, but God said, tonight, your time has come. Your story has changed. Your time has come. Your story has changed. Your time has come. That baby is marked for greatness. That baby in your womb will not die. It's an exceptional baby. In the 
name of Jesus Christ. It will not die, not again, not again, not again. The Bible says, it will not rise again. I pray for that sister by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. That Lord will uphold you. That Lord will self seal you. That Lord will sank you with his strength, with his power. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lift up a brother before me. That Lord will open a new door for you. A new door for you. A new door from you. A new helper. A new helper. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where you put your eyes. God say, I am opening a different door. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He said, brother, that place you put your hope in, I am opening Open a fresh door, a fresh door, a fresh door, a fresh door. I claim it on your behalf. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus, I'm opening a new door. I am opening a new door. Beyond your expectation, a new door has just been opened. Go say, I have opened a new door because I want to favor you. I want to favor you. I want to favor you. I want to disgrace your enemy. I want to favor you. I want to let them know you have a living God. I want to favor you. I want to lift you beyond your imagination. I want to favor you. I want to lift you beyond your family imagination. I want to change your story. God say it is your time to rise and I'm sending an helper. Be before the end of this month, I claim that helper for you. In the name of Jesus, I claim that helper for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for someone that is under my voice. As we journey through this month of April, the Lord himself will fight everyone that fights you. The Lord himself will fight those who have fight you. God say I am entering your battle. That's what I heard. He said, I am entering your battle. I am entering your battle. You have been fighting alone. You have been fighting alone. God said, tonight, I am taking step towards you. I am entering your battle. I am entering your battle. And you know what it means when God fights in your battle. When God make himself part of your battle, when God himself get involved in your battle, it means victory is certain. You see, I am getting involved. In now, I am standing in in your battle. I am going to join you in that battle. Oh, any forces against your life, when God enter, he crushes those forces. When any force against your marriage, when God enter, he scatter them. Any force against your finance, when God enter, he scatter those forces. You see, I am getting involved in your matter. I am getting involved in your home, I pray for you. That power of God will be real in your life. That power of God will be real in your home. That power of God will be real in your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for someone under the sound of my voice. Every power that held your children down, God say, I lose your children from that power. Every familiar power that lose your children, that hold your children. God say, I'm losing your child. I am losing her. I am losing her. Now, in the name of Jesus, every power that has been destroying home, marriages, God say, I am rising up tonight. I am going to fight for your marriage. I am rising up tonight. I will fight for your home. I am rising up tonight. I will fight for your children. I am rising up tonight. I am fighting for your marriage. Your marriage will not die. Your marriage will not go down. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for somebody who understands my voice. That project that you have started with your hand, the Lord said you will complete it. You will complete it. In the name of Jesus, you will complete that project. In the name of Jesus, you will not die before the end of the project. You will rejoice and enjoy your project. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will not die in that project. You will enjoy and live long. In the name of Jesus Christ, every obstacle that the devil has thrown before you, the Lord said, I'm rising up. I am removing those obstacles and I'm making a way for you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for someone under the sound of my voice. Your children is rising. The Lord said, your children will not go down. Every power that want to clip your children, that want to cut their wings so that they can't fly, by the name that's above every other name, we disarm them, we crush them. In the name of Jesus, your children will rise, will soar like an eagle. In the name of Jesus, power that want to clip them, that want to cut them by the name that's above every other name. The Lord will lift them up. The Lord will make them fly. In the name of Jesus, those who will be going for operation this week or next week, the Lord will go with you. It will increase the knowledge of the doctor to make everything perfect. In the name of Jesus, every complication, it is canceled. In the name of Jesus, complication, it is canceled. It is nullified. In the name of Jesus, I pray for those who are going through one sickness or the other in their body. By the name that's above every other name, I put an end to that sickness. 
in the name of Jesus, I put an end to that sickness. Every sickness that keep on reoccurring, that is coming and going, coming and going, by the name that's above every name, we cancel, we take authority over those power that is bringing that sickness to your body. In the name of Jesus, we destroy the power that is bringing those sickness into your life. In the name of Jesus, we crumble those power that is bringing sickness to your family. In the name of Jesus, every sickness that is coming back by the name that's above every other name, as from now, it is no more. In the name of Jesus, as from now, it is no more. In the name of Jesus, as from now, it is no more. In the name of Jesus, no recurrence of sickness. No recurrence of sickness. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says affliction shall not rise the second time. Affliction shall not rise the second time. I want to lift up your voice yourself and begin to say, Lord, every affliction in my life, it shall not rise again. It shall not rise again. It shall not rise again. In the name of Jesus, affliction in my health, it shall not rise again. Affliction in my home, it shall not rise again. Affliction in my marriage, it shall not rise again. In the name of Jesus. A friction over my children. It shall not rise again. In the name of Jesus. Every affliction over my life. It shall not rise again. In the name of Jesus Christ. It shall not rise again. In the name of Jesus. A friction over your family. It shall not rise again. Every recurring sickness. And hell has come to it. And hell has come to it. And hell has come to it. That source of sickness. It is dried up now. In the name of Jesus, the power that afflicts family, it is I put an end to those power. In the name of Jesus, power that will not make people rise, I put an end to it. Power to failure, it is destroyed tonight. In the name of Jesus, I scatter the plan of the devil concerning your life. I scatter the plan of the devil concerning your marriage. I scatter the plan of the devil concerning your husband. I scatter the plan of the devil concerning your wife. In the name of Jesus. Every death, it is cancelled over your life. In the name of Jesus. Death is cancelled over your wife. Death is cancelled over your husband. In the name of Jesus. Death is cancelled over your children. In the name of Jesus. Over your family. Every kalitobolikate. Every failure, I put an end to it. Death is cancelled your family. In the name of Jesus. Wherever you go, God will go with you. And the rest of this month, the Lord will favor you. He will open new door for you. In the name of Jesus. You see, affliction will not rise again. Oh, Catalibon Denea. It means the failure you encounter last time. The Bible says it will not come again. It means the sickness you have last time. He said it will not come again. It means every disappointment you suffer. God is saying tonight, it will be over. It will not come again. In the name of Jesus. He said it is not coming again. In the name of Jesus. He said it is not coming again. In the name of Jesus. It's sending help to you. I claim it for you. This is your moment of help. The Lord will send help to you. The Lord will send help to you. I hear it clearly. He said, I'm sending help. How God will do it, I don't know. And that's why he's God. He said, I'm sending help to a family. I am sending help to a family. I am sending help to a family. I claim it on your behalf. Receive the help of God. 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 In the name of Jesus. He said, I'm sending a helper to a home. I am releasing a helper to a home. Before the end of this month, you will see the helper show up. Before the end of this month, the Lord will direct you to the helper. Before the end of this month, you will get what God has promised for the helper to give to you. In the name of Jesus, every power that diverts helper, every power that stops helper, it could be your friend or your family, that is standing between your helper. Holy Ghost, fire consume them. In the name of Jesus. I release thunder upon them. Every one born of a woman. Every one born of a spirit. That want to stop your helper. I release thunder of God upon them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thunder scratch them. In the name of Jesus. Any demon standing between you and your helper. The Lord remove them. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is your month of help. He said I'm sending helper to you. It is your month of help. He said, I'm sending helper to you. In Kazatoli Kadelia, I pray for that brother. Every insanity in your mind. Oh, Gidea, You are losing your mind. The Lord said, I am restoring back your mind. I am restoring back your mind. I receive it for you. In the name of Jesus, 
I receive it for you. In the name of Jesus, I see shackles being removed from a life of a sister. Shackles. I hear the chain of shackles falling from your leg. I celebrate God on your behalf. Shackles of shame falling from your leg. I celebrate God for you. That sister, the shackles the devil have used to hold you on the spot. I hear the sound of shame falling from your leg. I set you loose forever. The same way the shackles have been broken. It will not come back. Affliction will not rise again. That shackle is forever destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Every word that gang up and bound you with that shackle. The Lord will visit them with anger. In the name of Jesus. I scatter that shackle with fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone that will bring those, I will bound you. And they say they can't bound you, they want to bound your children. Oh, or they can't bound you, they want to bound your husband. Fire of God will visit them. In hunger, God will rise on your behalf. In hunger, God will rise on your behalf. In hunger, God will rise on your behalf. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release you total freedom. I commit you to the hand of God. He that God will sustain, no one can take it from his hand. The Lord will sustain you. The Lord will protect you. The Lord will guide you. The Lord will lead you. In the name of Jesus Christ, He will take you out of troubles. He will take you out of depths. I hear God is settling somebody's depths. I hear God settling your depths. He said, I'm going to settle your debt. I don't know how much you hold. He said, but I am settling your debt. How God will do it, it will left for him. But on your behalf, I claim it for you. I claim it for you. You see, I'm putting an end to every debt you have owed. I am going to upset your debt. It will make provision for you to pay off your debt. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Wherever you go from now, God will be before you. God will come behind you. Lord, we appreciate you. On behalf of that woman, the Lord said, I'm putting an end to a long existing migraine. I am putting an end to a long existing migraine. He said, No more will the affliction rise again. No more will the affliction rise again. No more will the affliction rise again. In the name of Jesus Christ, when God releases a man, he set help around him. When God push a man in direction, God back a man up. The Lord will back you up. I think the Lord will back you up. The Lord will direct you. The Lord will set you loose. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your business is collapsing. God say, I'm raising an army to help you. Oh, like a day and He said, this month, someone is coming to help you. Your business will not crumble. He said, I'm sending someone to your business. I am sending a partner that will help you. I am releasing your business to a new direction. God is going to advertise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see God removing an emblem for a brother. A name that they place on you. A stigma. This, a place a stigma on you. That made people to see you from far. They hate you. They have put a label on you. I see God removing that evil label. I pray for you that brother. Every evil label that the devil placed on you. Every evil label over your business. Evil label over your marriage. The Lord remove them tonight. In the name of Jesus. He said, I'm removing that evil label. It means it's changing your name. When people see you from afar, they just hate you for no reason. He said, but tonight is your night. I am removing that evil label. I am, oh, that sister, congratulations. God said, the veil that I've covered you. You want to get married, but from you'll be looking for a husband. And no one is coming. He said, there's a veil that cover you. God said, tonight I've unveiled you. Oh, thank you. Take your freedom. He said, I've removed that veil that I've covered you. He has removed that veil that has not made anyone that is useful, that is meaningful to propose to you. Everyone that come around you are people that you know you can't marry. People that are less than you. People that are not even worth you. But God said, I'm taking the veil that from now you will you be attracted to your right husband. I am going to connect you to your husband. I pray for you what God has done for you tonight. No devil will take it away from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. If I know anything, I know God can work miracles. If I believe anything, I know God has power. If I will believe everything, I know God is the healer. I pray for someone under the sound of my voice. That sickness in your body, by the name that's above every other name. The Bible says when we mention the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. 
I command that sickness in your body. Bow out now. In the name of Jesus. Sickness in your body. Out now. In the name of Jesus. As a posture of God, I speak over your life. Every sickness in your body, I command you dry to the roots. In the name of Jesus. Every evil implantation in your body, I remove them with the hearts of fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said they will hear our voice and they will flee from their hidden places. Whatever that's hidden in your life, hidden in your body, afflicting you, hidden in your marriage, afflicting you, hidden in your business, afflicting you, by the name that's above every other name, I take authority over them. As a man of God, I speak over your life. I put my leg in your father's house. I put my second leg in your mother's house. Whatever affliction sent from your father's house, whatever affliction sent from your mother's house, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, I scatter them by fire. In the name of Jesus, I scatter them by fire. In the name of Jesus, I scatter them by fire. In the name of Jesus, I scatter them by fire. In the name of Jesus, I go to your in-law house. I put my leg, my right leg in your, your, in your father of your wife. I put my left leg in the mother of your wife in their family whatever arrow fire from your healer's house whatever arrow fire from their home from the father's house from their mother's house by the name that's above every name I return those arrows back to the sender. I say 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 back to the sender. In the name of Jesus Christ, that arrow will not prosper. It can totally be take it away. By the power in the name of Jesus, the arrow of wicked. I say back to the sender. In the name of Jesus Christ, every arrow of sickness will return them back to the sender. Arrow of failure, back to the sender. In the name of Jesus Christ, every arrow that will fire into your mind, back to the sender in the name of Jesus Christ, I take you out of the mouth of lion. They have planned to kill you, they have shared your meat. Oh, but they can't devote to I hear God say, Snatch that brother out of the mouth of a lion. I pray for that brother. I take you out of the mouth of a lion. I snatch you out. The same with David. Snatch bear and tear them. Every lion against your life. I tear them all by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every bear that disturb you. I Scatter them in fire in the name of Jesus Christ. By the oil of God upon my life, I cried against every altar that will be speaking against you. Every altar speaking against your home. Every altar speaking against your family. I command those altars scatter by fire. Receive thunder. Receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive fire in the name of Jesus. Receive thunder in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone that erect that altar, let the fire of God consume them. In the name of Jesus, every evil priest behind that altar, receive fire. Receive fire. Receive fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. We glorify you. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you have been. Thank you for the life of your children. Oh, we appreciate you. Blessed Father. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory be to your name. Thank you for a miracle. Thank you for testimony. I know somebody has been set loose. I know a home is healed for a new level. I know you have gone ahead to make a way for a sister where there seems no way. That womb that has been locked, God has just opened it. That womb that has been bound to carry a baby, that lost it have opened a wound. Oh, thank you, Jesus. God is increasing low spam counts. Thank you, Jesus. He said, I'm doing beyond your expectation. I am taking you beyond your expectation. I am opening new door for you. I am opening new door for your home. I am changing the story of your husband. I am changing the story of your children. He said, I, the Lord, will favor you this morning. Thank you, Jesus. I, the Lord, will fight your battle. The battle you'll be going through. Get Kalebo Sitalia. You see, I'm getting involved in your battle. I am making myself part of your battle. And when God enters a man's battle, when God enters a woman's battle, the story changes. And that's why I know your story is changing tonight. That's why I know your story is changing tonight. That's why I know your story is changing tonight. Begin to claim me, say, Lord, I know my story has changed. I know my story has changed. Thank you for changing my story. Thank you for changing my story. Thank you because the affliction will not rise again. 
Thank you because the affliction will not rise again. No more sickness in my life. No more sickness in my home. No more rejection. No more rejection. No more failure. No more poverty. Begin to pray. Begin to speak whatever you want to reject. Whatever you don't want, begin to say, Lord, I don't want this. And what you want, begin to plant them. And God is going to do beyond your expectation. This month of April, we not end the same way every other month ends. This is a usual month for you. God is getting involved in your story. God is getting involved in your home. God is getting involved in your marriage. He said, I'm going to fight your battle beyond your expectation. I am going to fight your battle. God is taking the battle of your children. Whatever, wherever the destiny of your children have been locked, he said, I, the Lord, I am opening the door. I am setting your children free. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to your holy name. A long age sickness. I say, I, the Lord, is putting an end to it. Long age sickness. Long age sickness. He said, I'm going to let people know. I am going to prove the doctor wrong on your behalf. Doctor have diagnosed. No way. He said, I, the Lord, because I am getting involved in your battle, I will prove the doctor wrong. Doctor will become a liar for your sake. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, I'm going to make divine and mad. Divine and God said, I will make them mad for your sake. They will go to their crystal ball. They will go to their water. They won't be able to find you. Where they tied you, they will find that you have been loose. Where they place your children, they will realize that something has happened. A change of level has happened. A change of story has happened. They will see you sharing testimony. And the divine now will become mad. They will begin to say, maybe their oracle is not working. That will be your testimony this month. In the name of Jesus Christ. That will be your testimony this month. In the name of Jesus. Divine now will be mad for your sake. Babala will be mad for your sake. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because they will see the story of your children and your story that God has really visited you. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Shout a bigger hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know a home has been delivered. A family has been set free. There's a story changing. Amazing door opening for your home. God is making a way where there seems no way. Are you in the rest seat of life now? When God can make a way in the rest seat for the Israelite, your own case is not bigger than God. I know this God. I trusted him. I know what he can do. I have tried him. I have tested him. And he has never failed me. And I know he won't fail you. The only thing he demands from you is for you to give your life to Jesus. The only thing he demands for you is to be serious about your Christianity. Not just with mouth. You have to be committed anywhere you are. In the church, don't just go to church and sit down. Do something for the kingdom. And the kingdom will do something for you. That's how it works. No one invests in his kingdom and go in vain. No. He said, I will not ask the seed of Jacob to seek me in vain. You can't seek God in vain. It is not possible. My God will not allow you to seek him in vain. No. You will seek him and you will get your reward. I have tried him. I have tested him. I have given my commitment and I have seen the reward. And I know you can get the same reward. Years ago, most of us give our life to Jesus. Our, we are worse sinner than you. Worse sinner. We are worse sinner. But God changed our story. If God can do it for me, and that's why I believe he can do it for anybody. If God can arrest me, I know he can arrest anybody. God can arrest your wife. He can arrest your children. He can arrest your husband. If your husband is misbehaving right now, go to your, the altar of prayer. Don't face people. Face God. If your wife is misbehaving, don't they talk about face God. God is the creator. He knew her when she was created. And God know how to talk to her. He said, the heart of a king is my hand. I can turn a course like a course of a river. God can change anyone. And that's if God is still on the throne. He lives forever. And he will change your story. But one thing that's important. Everything I've been saying will be meaningless to you. Every prayer may not be useful for you. Except you give your life to Jesus. Jesus will offer for our sake. It will give, God gave it to us because God is a giver. He looks at our life. We are on the way to hell. He sent Jesus as a life jacket. Is there somebody that is drowning in water and they give you a life jacket for you to be safe? We are already drowning. We are on the way to hell. And Jesus offered himself for us. God gave it to us. Save my people from hell. 
save them so that they will not go back to hell. They will not die in hell. And everyone that embrace and give their life to Jesus, genuinely from their heart, they will make heaven. I want you to be in that moment tonight and look at your life. If you can say, if you die now, you don't know where you are going, it's a sign that you have not given your life to Jesus. If you are afraid of death, that if you die, you don't know where to go, it's a sign that something is wrong with you. If anyone died, the only thing that comes to my mind is where is the person going? I don't cry. I only think, where is this guy going? He's dead, but where? Because Jesus tells me that he's going to make a way for us. He's going and he will prepare a place for us. He wants to prepare a place. And I know my Jesus never lied. If he says prepare a place, it means after we die, we are going to a place. He said we're going to prepare a place. So we are going to a place. And he said sinners will not be welcome in that place. Adulterers will not be welcome. Killers will not be welcome. Arm robber will not be welcome. Liars will not be welcome. It's only people that serve him with their hearts. That do what Jesus asked us to do. Jesus came to the earth. He showed us what his father wants. What his father wants us to do. He make himself as an example. He gave himself up as an example. Then he died. So he said, follow my step. Then you will go to where I'm going to. And I'm going to my father. Follow my step. Do what you see me do. Do what you have read. You know, some of us, we are not alive when he was here. But he gave us a document. He gave us a document called Bible. If you follow this step, you will be where I will be. But if you fail to follow this step, you will go to where the devil will be prepared to go. I always tell people, hell is not for us. We are not wired to, we can't, our skin cannot handle hell. It's too hot. It was made for devil and his angel. But sad enough, most of us have made ourselves part of the angel of devil. We have made ourselves part of the demons of devil. And that's why we might end up in hell. Actually, it's not prepared for us. It was prepared for the devil and the angel. But as men that refuse to accept Christ, they will be headed towards hell. And that's why I give you this opportunity tonight to tell God tonight, Every sin that you have committed. It doesn't matter how big your sin is. It doesn't matter whatever situation you find yourself. Don't begin to commit your sin to him. Ask him to forgive you. Pray a prayer of genuine, from the genuine heart. Say, Lord, forgive me. I have did it again. Have mercy on me. Wash me with the precious blood of your son, Jesus. Wash me with the precious blood. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. For in Jesus' name, we pray. I want to pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I give my life to you today. Forgive me of all my sin. I surrender my life completely to you. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died and you rose up after three days. I know and I believe you are seated on the right hand of Father. I believe that you are coming back for me, Lord Jesus. Save me. Lord Jesus, save me. Lord Jesus, save me. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. Simple prayer, but powerful. That prayer I know I've made you to enter into a new kingdom. Jesus has accepted you and your sin has been forgiven. And the, the, my word for you is sin no more. Don't go and sin again. You have seen God to forgive you. Your sin has been forgiven. Your sin has been washed away by the blood of Jesus. Don't go back. Go out and sin no more. You are now in the new kingdom. You must learn how to walk in this kingdom. And how to walk, how to, whatever you want to do in that kingdom, and be put together in the Bible. Make Bible your friend. Be a part of the Bible study. Learn about the new kingdom. How to talk in the new kingdom. How to walk in the new kingdom. Where to go in the new kingdom. What to do in the new kingdom. It makes it easy for you. If you know everything what to do. It's like when you buy the equipment, if you don't have the manual to the equipment, you may be abuse the equipment. You may not even use to the full length capacity of equipment. Some of us have phone. But we are not using them to full capacity. If you follow the manual, we will know amazing things that the phone can do. In the same way in the kingdom. There are many things we can do as Christians. But because we do not read our word, we do not follow the Bible. The devil is playing prank on us. The devil is just playing us around because we don't know our word. I pray for you. Your eyes will be open as from tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to thank you for being a part of this program and the Lord will continue to bless you. And every prayer we pray tonight you will see a speedy result, a speedy answer in the name of Jesus. We have cried against every water, cried against whatever that be stopping you. And I know my heaven has heard us. Answer will follow speedily for you and your family. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to thank you again, once again, and I want to ask you to help us share this video. Let a life be touched. Let a hope be saved. Share this video as many as possible, and the Lord will bless you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus. The next week that will be coming your way, I remain your humble friend, opposed to FD Ademola. God bless you. Stay safe. Shalom.